So let's go through the new CloudWatch Unified Agent. And this is a new kind of agent which does metrics and logs at the same time. So it will be a great time to look at this agent in details. So we're going to launch an instance and I'll use Amazon Linux 2 and I'll select this one. I'll use a T2 Micro. And then for the instance detail, I will create a new IAM role. And for that IAM role, I'm first going to create it and say it's for EC2. Click on next permissions. And in there, I'm going to search for a policy and it's called CloudWatch. So let's look at CloudWatch. And so we have CloudWatch agent server policy. I think this one will be great. Let's look at it in details. So it has logs, put logs events, create log stream and create log group. So it will allow us to log stuff. And also it has the CloudWatch put metric data. So it will allow us to send metrics, custom metrics into CloudWatch. But also it has the SSM get parameter and we'll see this in this lecture around how we can fetch a configuration of the CloudWatch agent from SSM. So this is perfect. We'll use this one. Let's click on next tag and next review. And we'll call this one um, AWS CloudWatch role for EC2. Okay, this is great create the role and let's verify that everything is correct. So I'll go to this role and the policy is there. So let's attach this role into our instance. And here it is. And for now, we will not do anything else. We'll keep this. We will to use tags. Uh, let's use tag. Let's just name our EC2 instance uh, logging instance because it's going to log something and configure security group. This is fine. Review and launch, launch. And I'll use this key pair. Yes. And launch my instance. Okay, so our instance is launched and we're going to install Apache on it to just have a simple web server and we'll stream the log of Apache onto CloudWatch. So back on our instance, let's connect to it using EC2 Instance Connect and that's going to be simpler. And from this, I'm going to install HTTPD. So for this, I'm doing sudo su yum install HTTPD and this will install Apache for me. I'll say yes. And then I'm just going to create an index.html file. So I'll say echo hello world into var w html index.html. Excellent. So now if we go to our instance uh, in here, and then we go to our security group to the inbound rules. So, and we're going to add the HTTP rule just so we can test whether or not uh, HTTP, HTTPD was correctly installed. So here we go. This is our rule that has been edited and back into our logging instance. I'm going to copy the public DNS and it's saying it's not, it's refused because we haven't started it. So that makes sense. So we'll do sudo systemctl httpd start, uh, start httpd. So let's do it again, start httpd. And now this should have started my Apache server. So if I refresh this page, it now says hello world. Okay, so everything is good. We have installed httpd. And now what we'd like to do is stream the log from var log and in there, oops, and in there we have different loggings available to us, but the one log we are interested in too is HTTPD. And then we'll have in there access log, for example, this is one log file and we'll also get error log if we wanted to in here. So these are two kind of logs that we'd like to have into CloudWatch. Okay. So let's get back into CloudWatch. And so the first thing we have to do, not in CloudWatch actually, but the first thing we have to do is to install the unified CloudWatch agent to get started with CloudWatch logs. So there is this new thing is that before there used to be a CloudWatch agent for logs specifically, and it was called the CloudWatch logs agent. And now, and there used to be a metric system and a script to send data from your EC2 instance, for example, RAM and disk info into CloudWatch metrics as well. So now they have created something called the unified CloudWatch logs, uh, CloudWatch agent, sorry. And that allows you to both send metrics, custom metrics and logs into um, CloudWatch. And the cool thing with it is that you can store and retrieve its configuration into the SSM parameter store. And that will allow you to have a quick setup for all your instances if you wanted to have them all uh, configured the same way. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead through the pain of configuring it. If you go through the documentation, you'll find it's relatively complicated to see how to get started. But thankfully, I've done this before. And I've just summarized the information of how to do it here. So the first thing we have to do is to do web get and download this file. So let's get back into our EC2 instance connect, I'm going to exit the root user. And I'm going to issue a web get to download this Amazon CloudWatch agent RPM file. Then when we've done this, we need to install the CloudWatch agent. So we'll do sudo rpm minus u and then 
look at the file we just downloaded. So here we go. Now it's doing this. And finally, we need to run the wizard. And the wizard will go through the configuration of the CloudWatch agent for us. So let's launch the wizard and see what is happening. So it's saying, which OS are you planning to use for the agents? And we are planning to use Linux. The reason why it's not smart, quote unquote smart, and saying, well, you're using Linux, so obviously you want Linux, is that we could configure the CloudWatch agent for Windows directly from a, Win from a Linux machine, and that would be fine. So that's why. But here we're doing Linux, so one. And are you trying to fetch the default region for the EC2 metadata? Are you using EC2 or on-premise host? We're saying, okay, we're using EC2. Which user are you planning to run the agent as of? So we can use root, CW agent, or others. I'll use root. Do you want to turn on the stats D daemon? So this daemon is used to collect stats D metrics from your applications. And this is something that could be quite nice because if your application has a stats D endpoint, then the CloudWatch unified agent could send this directly into CloudWatch. So we'll say yes, although we will not use this uh, and so on. What port do you want to use? 8, uh, 8, 1, 2, 5 is absolutely perfect. Okay. Now, what is the collect interval for the stats D demand? We'll keep it as 10 seconds. And what is the aggregation interval? We'll keep it as 60 seconds. Okay, do you want to monitor metrics from collect D? So this is another kind of daemon we can collect metrics from. So we'll say yes. And do you want to monitor any host metric? For example, CPU, memory, etc. Yes, we definitely want to have CPU and memory. Do you want to monitor CPU metrics per core? And this is something we'll say yes to. So here, thanks to this CloudWatch unified agent, we're able to get CPU metrics, not just at the aggregate level, the way we see it in the CloudWatch console, but per core. So this is great. And do you want to add EC2 dimension, for example, image ID, instance ID, and so on, into the metrics? We'll say absolutely. And then would you like to collect your metrics at a high resolution, at sub-minute resolution? And this is something we've seen for custom metrics. So we could be every one second, every 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. And to make sure that we don't pay overpay, we'll just keep it at 60 seconds. But these are all the options that we can get because we have a custom metric. What default metrics config do you want? Do you want basic, standard, and advanced? And I'll just ask you to refer to the documentation for this, but we'll just keep it with basic. And this shows us the configuration that we have as follows for now. So we are saying, okay, the, the agent is collecting every six seconds, run as root, and here is the dimension that we need, and here's the metrics that we collect, and so on. And we're going to collect the disk and also the memory, and the memory used person, so we'll get some RAM information into CloudWatch logs, and so on. So are you satisfied with the config? We'll say yes. And now we're done. Now I said, do you have any existing CloudWatch logs here? So this is the old agents. Because if we had the old agent, we would be able to import a configuration file directly into this unified agent. But because we don't have one, we'll just say no. And do we want to monitor any log files? We'll say yes. And log file path is going to be var log httpd access underscore log. And this is going to represent the access log of our um, uh, uh, Apache server. And the log group name uh, could be access logs. Excellent. We'll just keep it simple. And the log stream name will be instance ID. Perfect. Do you want to specify any other files? Yes. We'll say yes. Absolutely. And this time it will be var log httpd error underscore log. Excellent. And we'll keep everything as default. And do you want any uh, additional files? I'll just say no. And this should make it uh, fully ready. So here we go. So we have the entire config in here. And as we can see now, there's a logs part in this JSON configuration, which says, okay, you should collect these files and the collect list that you need to have is these file path with this group name and stream. So everything could be editable afterwards, right? So I say, please check the, co the above content of the config. And the config is also located in this file name. So we can go ahead and copy this. Excellent. And you can edit it manually if needed to. And the question is, do you want to store the config in the SSM parameter store? And the answer is yes. What parameter store names do you want to use for your config? And you need to use Amazon CloudWatch prefix if you use the manage policy. So Amazon CloudWatch Linux is a great one. And I don't think it's going to work unless we would have the right IAM policy for this. So if we go back to IAM, remember the CloudWatch agent server policy allows us to do a get parameter as well, but we need to edit this to also do a put. So what I'm going to do is attach a policy and I'm going to type CloudWatch again. Uh, but in here we can do CloudWatch agent admin policy. And this admin policy does everything as before, but this time it allows us to do a put parameter as well on the SSM parameter store. So let's select this one 
click on attach policy and now this is good. So now if we go back to our instance and go ahead and press enter to keep this choice and say, okay, EUS one is a great place to get started. And the AWS credentials you should use is the one directly from the SDK. So we'll keep it as one. Here we go. It says successfully put config to parameter store, Amazon CloudWatch Linux program exits now. So I'm just going to pause this video right now and I'll see you in the next video to see what happened.